the word grooming, while I know that it's being banned all over the place, is a technical term that can be applied to ideology, religion, um, yes, the sexual grooming, but look, the majority of people who get groomed in this world are adults. They are groomed by con artists, cat people who catfish, people they're groomed for relationships, for financial exploitation, etc. So it's not describing specifically a kind of person. It has nothing to do with LGBT. It has everything to do with a style of manipulation, a style of using language and using your relationship with another person and using their trust, exploiting their weaknesses and their strengths mm -hmm. to form what essentially is a fake intimacy with them. So they trust you. So they will do what you want them to do without realizing that it wasn't their choice. That is, and then you can legitimately claim with plausible deniability that, well, they chose it. They, you know, I didn't make them, they chose it. Okay. So that's how a lot of con artists get away with what they do and snake oil salesmen, things like that. But it's because they groomed their marks. Okay. Ideological grooming is extraordinarily common. Cults do it. Cult, Scientology, yeah. everything. So when people hear it and they go, oh my God, you can't say that. That's like, it's a slur or whatever. It's like, I'm describing a process and it has certain stages. Love bombing is the first one. We are loved. This is a safe space. You can tell us anything. We'll keep your secrets. We won't tell mom and dad. Here's an app. By the way, there's an easy out. Click the button. Boom, it's over. There's no history. You can use it. You can talk to people. You can chat. There are schools out there that are giving out the Trevor Project uh, uh, forum where children are talk chatting with adults and parents don't even know it. So I'm sorry, what else do you call this process? Even if they never lay hands on the kid, this is a young mind a young and forming identity, a young forming person who is really naive and wants to please, especially people in authority. And they're confused because they've been made confused with all these questions. And it is just simply wrong. I don't care what your intentions are. You know, what's so funny is people who are, you know, on the side of these things, these ideas will tell you, you know, intentions don't matter. It's about outcome. Okay. Well, you know, I usually disagree with that except here. The intentions of this don't matter. I don't really care if you really mean well when you're manipulating this child into telling you their secrets or their innermost thoughts. It's not appropriate. There's no scenario in which it's appropriate. 